Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe to the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. I want to do a video on the Detroit Red Wings. Um, when I was watching video recently of previous uh, drafts, I came across Marit Sider. And, um, you know, the funny thing about that when you look back on it now was how it happened. You know, when they called his name, there was just a collective gasp in the whole arena. And even when they... You know, closed in on uh, Marit Sider's face. He was utterly shocked. He didn't think he was going to go that that high. So, um, you know, it was an awesome moment. And, um, you know, I give it to Stevie Y. First draft with uh, Detroit. And, um, you know, picks a totally off, off, the, off the track name that no one thought would have went that high. And, you know, it's a ballsy move. It really is. And, you know, it just shows courage and shows that he's willing and he wants that guy. And he's going to get that guy at that spot. So... You know, hopefully he does well with Detroit's organization. You know, he's a good big defenseman who can put up points. So, um, you know, hopefully he's good for Detroit when he becomes an NHL regular. Um, so when I was watching that, I was kind of thinking, hmm, what's Stevie Y going to do this year? Is he going to go and shock everybody by do pulling another name that no one expects? So I wanted to do a video focusing on in on that and, you know, talk about Detroit's, uh, you know, what, what's going on with them as far as their team going ahead. You know, the the thing with, with them is I thought Blasio would, was going to be, you know, not there. And they were going to go looking for possibly Gallant as he has uh, ties to Stevie Y. I thought they'd possibly change uh, and bring in a different head coach. But Stevie Y said, no, he's my guy for another year. So we're sticking with him, which is great. Um, you know, the cap space ending this year was 79.96. It was a shade under $80 million. Um, They have the cap next year is said to be $81.5 million. So, um... You know, there was a lot of people wondering what it would be, if it would be higher or be lower or if it would be around what it is now. But they already said it's going to be 81.5 for this upcoming season. Um, there's situations. They have a lot of contracts to see what they're going to do. They have a lot of RFAs, big names. Anthony Mantha, Bertuzzi, Earn, Fabry, Perlini, Timoshov, uh, Madison Bowie. And if you're looking at the UFAs, they have uh, Sam Gagne, Jonathan Erickson, Trevor Daly, and Jimmy Howard. So... You know, looking at their roster and, um, you know, their um, situations with their players, you know, they have to look at their defense. They have three UFAs, one RFA, so they got to see what they're going to do with that. Are they willing to re-sign these guys to new deals? Are they willing to look outside the box and try to go for a free agent? You know, Tory Krug look, would look nice as he's a Detroit kid. Um, he's a UFA. Boston's kind of kind of up against the cap, so could they possibly bring him over to help this defense out? You know, have a nice quarterback on the power play. Um, you know, there's Tyson Barry out there, there's Petrangelo. So there's a lot of different options if they're willing to go the free agent route to bring in another defenseman. And as far as goaltending, you know, Jimmy Howard's a UFA. Are they going to keep him, bring him back for another year? As he's getting up there in age, are they going to look elsewhere and try to sign another UFA goaltender? There's a lot of good ones out there as well. So, um, we'll see what Stevie Y does to, um, to fill out the rest of the roster and what they're going to do. Are they going to bring back players? Are they going to sign new ones? We'll see. And going into the draft, I am so curious about this upcoming draft because you know how every draft has their tipping point of where it could go how it's projected or it can go totally off. And last year was Stevie Y with, with, with Cider. And this year, will it be at the four spot? Um, you know, the consensus three are definitely going to be Lafreniere, uh, Byfield, and Stutzel. You know, with Byfield and Stutzel going two, three. And um, at four is the question mark. You know, a lot of people have Rossi. I did my mock draft of the top eight after they did the draft lottery. And I picked Rossi for the Red Wings. I think he'd be a great person to uh, another nice center for this organization. Uh, this kid's got it all. He can score. He's got playmaking ability. He can drive the net with force as he's got this lower body that's like a tank. And you can't take him off his skates. But he's a smallish guy. So, um you know, he'd be an interesting pick, and I think he'd be good with their good wingers that they have in this organization. You know, you have uh, Drysdale. Drysdale can be brought in to shore up their defense. Nice right-handed defenseman. And um, could he go this route? A lot of people have him projected to go at, at this one as well. I was going back and forth between Rossi and Drysdale, so that's one of my... Those are two of my three that I think will are definitely in question. And after I did my mock draft, I saw a article about, um, you know, the Red Wings possibly looking into Perfetti. Perfetti's name's been linked to Detroit as them looking at him as well. So 
that's kind of my three if I'm looking at it. It's either Rossi, Drysdale, or um, or Perfetti. And there's two other names that could be outside the box as well. You know, could he look into shoring up a defensive defenseman and pick Sanderson? Sanderson is one of those defensemen that earlier in the year was supposed to go into like that 10 to 15 range. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It was supposed to be like 15 to 20. And as the year went on, they saw this kid was such a stud defenseman and he kept rising up the ranks. And a lot of GMs are seriously looking at him and he could fall within the top 10. And, you know, a lot of people have him in that, like, area of, like, 8 to 11, where he could go as possibly as high as 5. A lot of kid, a lot of GMs are really looking at this kid, and they, they're really looking at bringing in his defensive defenseman abilities, and he's really good. And could they look at Lucas Raymond? You know, he's another, you know, he's another winger that, at the beginning of the year, he was projected to go as high as 3, slid down a lot, and now he's, you're kind of looking at him in the 6 to 8 range. So um, could they possibly go outside the box and try to pick him and add another winger to this organization? So we'll see what happens with this. I wanted to do a video on this ever since I saw that cider video because my curiosity is just rampant to see what Stevie Y will do with this upcoming draft. Will he pick a name that is kind of falling in line with what a lot of people are projecting or will he go outside and pick another name where he feels strong about that not a lot of people do at that position? So um you know, comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Who would you draft if you were Stevie Y? And what do you feel about Detroit's uh, chances of bringing in a um, another uh, free agent here and there to, to share up any forward position or defense? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the hockey channel. Join the hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great night. Have a great day. Take it easy.